Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today I'm going to be doing a vlog style cook with me. And this is by the way the most flattering um, angle of me. And I'm sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder. I just want to make sure I'm not like super white because I'm under like this light. So I won't look yellow. Anyways, I know I'm not white. And I know I don't look yellow so I'm just going to stop looking. And I'm sorry here. Let me try and put you guys right here. There we go. So, welcome back to today's video. It is going to be a cook with me. And I am going to be learning slash teaching with you guys. Or teaching you guys how to make frijoles charros. If you are Mexican or Hispanic, anything like that, you know what they are. So, I am making the frijoles right now. They've been cooking for about... I don't know, almost an hour. So I have another three hours to go. But I was going to make them in my um, crock pot. Excuse me. But I decided to just make them in the olla. On the, pan, on the stove top. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. I already have my other pan here ready. Which is where I'm going to do the rest of the ingredients. So let me get them all out and show you guys exactly what we're going to need. What we're going to need is some bacon. This is the one I chose, original center cut bacon from the brand Hemplex. Sure, whatever. And then I got some weenies or um, hot dog weenies. And these are the classic Franks. What are these even called? I don't know. I just know them as weenies. But yeah. These are the ones I got. This is how they look. And I will be using all of them. And then I got some chorizo. This is the one I got from the brand El Mexicano. And this is beef chorizo. So chorizo de res. And this is the, what it Mommy. looks like. Obviously, I'm not going to use all of it. I mean, I'm not going to do any of that right now until the beans are ready. So I hope I can do it today. If not, I will obviously do it tomorrow. But you guys will still see it. And then... I'm also going to be using some cilantro. Excuse me, that's my fridge alarm, but yeah. Some cilantro and, of course, cebolla and ajo, so onion and garlic. What do you want, little boy? Hi, look, Leo. You weirdo. Pick up your chicken. Chicken. Thank you, mi amor. Bye. But I want to show you guys what I did or how I'm cooking the beans. I have an electric stove top, which are so annoying to cook in, but you can still do it. All I did was put a, let's see if I can do, show you guys, because I don't have anything in there. I put a full head of garlic in there, just like that. Don't peel it, nothing. You're going to still drain this. And then... Um, obviously I did wash this, all the dirt is out of there. And then I did a full onion. I peeled a couple layers off and then I washed it and threw it in here. I didn't add any salt because the bacon, weenies, and chorizo have salt already. So yeah, usually if you were just making beans, then you would add salt to your liking. But yeah, a lot of people always ask how you know when the beans are done, usually they start looking a little wrinkly. I don't know if you can see. They start looking a little wrinkly, like the skin's about to fall off. That's when you know they're getting there. Um, but I will show you guys as it progresses how it's supposed to look. But yeah, that's what they look like now. This is the garlic head. As you can see, the bottom is still there. It's nice and washed, obviously. The beans also have to be nice and washed, rinsed. And this is what the onion looks like. And this, what it does, it just adds a really nice flavor to it. And yeah, you what you can also do is obviously peel the uh, garlics and stuff. And maybe cut up the onion into fours if you really wanted to, but you don't even have to. And it just takes longer to clean up once you're done all you have to do once these are done is just pop it out throw it in the garbage and you're done so yeah i'm just gonna give them a nice little mix and let them cook for about three to four hours okay guys excuse leo my baby if you hear him in the background but i just turned up the heat about 
five minutes ago to like high medium high like right there and now they're really boiling what I'm doing is letting them boil for a while and they're starting to cook a little faster they're starting to look crystal like so you can't really the shell looks a little thinner you can tell or this skin whatever you call it and yeah that's what it looks like so I'm just gonna let it uh, boil until they're completely ready or basically ready and um, they should pop when they're ready they'll they'll kind of like burst so I'll show you guys what they look like when they're basically almost done all right guys so this is what they look like they're basically almost done I'm gonna give them another 20 minutes just so it can be completely soft but this is basically a them done all right now what I'm gonna start doing is cutting up the weenies uh, bacon and getting the chorizo ready and also I forgot to tell you guys that we are going to be using half a pound of chicharron so I'm also going to be breaking up the chicharron into small little bite-sized pieces so I will show you guys everything but it's just going to be uh, kind of like fast forward so I won't have to be explaining every little thing but just pay attention any questions you guys have just leave them down below and I will answer them but yeah I'll do my best to show every single step
everything. So good. From one to ten, what do you give? 